Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and so I hope that you're all having a great day thus far. And so in this video, we'll be talking about this disturbance that is marked by the National Hurricane Center that could develop. Uh, and if it does so, it might be a problem for the Caribbean, but there's another wave to emerge off Africa uh, and that one would be in a more favorable environment to develop. And so we'll be talking about that as well as what the models are expecting and overall current conditions out there. And so before I go into details, Okay, so of course we're starting off with a view of the North Atlantic Basin and we're seeing that we have quite a bit of disorganized showers and thunderstorms taking place off Africa, a lot of moisture within that area. And so uh, our wave is located just in the vicinity of the Cabo Verde Islands and it is accelerating westward. And so going to the National Hurricane Center's uh, five-day outlook for it, now we're seeing that a more westerly motion is expected, but conditions are expected to be just marginally conducive to enable for development of the system so we'll see what happens with it but it is likely to struggle out there especially with all of the dry air uh, that is in the area but if it manages to reach the caribbean uh, maybe even if it doesn't develop maybe as a tropical wave with some convection associated with it it could bring some increased rainfall to sections of the region guys and so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that system uh, but let's now go ahead and take a look at current conditions starting off with that dry air and so we're seeing that uh, there is quite a bit of dry air out there. Uh, it seems to be reducing a bit. And so there we have that tropical wave again. It's going to be accelerated mainly westwards. So with all this mass of dry air right in front of it, then it's likely to accelerate uh, right into those dry hostile conditions. And so uh, it might definitely struggle out there, as I said, with all the dry air. But this might be paving the way for the wave that is to come behind it. And so let us go ahead and talk about that. So we're going to be taking a look at what the various models are expecting. Starting off with GFS. And so this is going to Friday of this week on the 26th of August. And by that time, our GFS is showing that that first tropical wave, which is currently marked, uh, will be approaching the Lesser Antilles. So we see a 1030 millibar low pressure system here uh, but we're not seeing those black lines called isobars being very, very close in a circular manner so we don't have a whole lot of it and so looking to the east of it though just off Africa there we have that system GFS is expecting that that second wave that will be emerging will be rapidly developing uh, just as it makes its way off Africa because we see a lower pressure with it 1005 millibar low pressure system and let's see what happens with it as time goes by going to Sunday the 28th of August so a week from now and GFS is definitely not expecting development with that first wave we see that we just have all that moisture uh, in the vicinity of the Caribbean but going out into the main development region maybe a little bit uh, just between the Lesser Antilles and the coast of Africa there we have that system not intensifying much here we still see a pressure of 1005 millibar maybe it's struggling a bit but look at this what GFS is showing now, this is very interesting here but know that this does not have to be the outcome we've seen so many changes with GFS uh, and the only consistency is just the fact that there will be some development taking place as we head into the late part of August. But going to Friday the 2nd of September, the, the model is showing something very interesting here. A low pressure system with a pressure of 957 millibars. That is the pressure of maybe a major hurricane and it is showing that this thing will be approaching the Caribbean uh, and then eventually go into Monday September 5th we see that this thing here is expected to uh, cross over sections of the greater Antilles definitely weakening if it is going to be crossing so much land uh, and then eventually by Tuesday the sixth, the model is showing that it is going to be emerging into the Gulf of Mexico where it starts to re-intensify. This scenario would be absolutely crazy, but uh, we definitely have to look out for systems like this. This is going to be the trend as we head into September, maybe uh, the early part of October. We're going to be having all of these waves emerging off Africa, and then they're going to be making their way westward with a strong high-pressure system. So yes, that's uh, the 
path of these systems is determined by the strength of the high pressure system. And so in this case of a system uh, continuing westward of Africa and making its way into the Caribbean, uh, that is in the case of a strong high pressure system uh, resulting in that continually westward motion here. So we'll have to wait and see, as I said, because this does not have to take place and GFS keeps changing. And the only consistency is the fact that some development is expected. But in terms of the potential intensity or the path those things are really unknown right now we're just looking at possibilities here because the weather changes constantly and we don't even have to have development out there so we'll have uh, so we'll just have to wait and see but this is the time of year when we should be expecting it in terms of euro we're looking at Saturday the 27th, so uh, this coming Saturday, and so the model is showing that there will be that second tropical wave emerging, that's where we see that 10-12 millibars, but just uh, in the vicinity of it going to the northwest, uh, we see all that moisture which is actually associated with that first wave, and so uh, by Wednesday the 31st of August, uh, Euro is showing that we will have that first wave managing to develop within the vicinity of the Bahamas, and that second wave is behind it, but just off Africa there is another 1,700 millibar low, uh, possibly a storm developing within that region. So we see that these major models are actually expecting development to take place as we're going to be progressing into the latter part of this month going to the uh, final few days of August. So we'll just have to wait and see what is going to be happening as we head throughout this week and next week. But this is really the time of year to expect this and looking at this uh, this map right here, uh, we see that the highlighted areas is where we would typically have development uh, of tropical cyclones within the month of August. So yes, we should definitely look out for those Cabo Verde type systems that are going to be uh, forming and especially for the Caribbean, now is the time to have your eyes out. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by. And in terms of the ocean temperatures, things are very warm uh, right now. And so looking at it for the main development region, we're seeing that uh, just off Africa above about 15 north things aren't very very warm right there but uh, when we're going to be having those waves emerging and making their way continually westward then they're going to be heading to more favorable ocean temperatures and so going to the western Atlantic right now we see that the Caribbean is very warm going up into the vicinity of the Bahamas and Bermuda very warm as well and the Gulf is definitely there so these are some hot spots for tropical cyclones especially the Gulf of Mexico so guys we'll see what's going to be happening but as I said this is going to be the trend we're going to start to have these disturbances uh, making their way off Africa, maybe continually, continuing westward based on that high pressure system. And we definitely have to be on the lookout for some significant intensification. But the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Tail Danielle. Yes, that potential tropical cyclone 4 failed to intensify into a tropical storm. So we're still waiting on the letter D. So let's see if we're going to be having Danielle potentially uh, as we're going to be heading into the rest of this week or going into next week. But I would say maybe next week we will definitely definitely see a name storm guys and so that is really it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise